Ojo hasuru me what ofun dubai Ojo fo eh oya bale oya bale Your faces are brimming with smiles. Of course, Your Majesty. So we, what brings you to the we palace? We bring good tidings to the palace. <laughs> yes. You see, my son here, look at it, has found love among your daughters. And he has come to make his good intentions known to you. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, which is your Your Majesty. The gods bless me with the uh, beehives of beautiful girls. And maidens alike. Yes. So, which of them is your son interested in? Um, your Majesty, uh, it is Princess Adore who has caught my eyes. Ah! And also <laughs> stolen my heart. <laughs> Mother God be praised. Yes. 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 Um, God. Your Majesty. Uh, please come. Tell Queen Agatha that I seek her presence at once. Yes, Your Majesty. Right. Uh, uh, so, how is everybody over there? Uh, we are still trying to uh, get the dividends of democracy <laughs> for our people. Eh? Well, everybody will get it. Yes. Everything good will come. That is it. <laughs> what you say? Uh, uh, just a few seconds. God, uh, please go and bring some refreshment. <laughs> you know? I can eat it. Uh, uh, greetings. Oh, uh, greetings. Oh, greetings. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, sit. Uh, sit. Uh, sit. This is your uh, chair, Jofo, and his son, Ekene. Um, his son here, Ekene, is interested in Adu. And I said, let me also put you in the know. <laughs> <laughs> My king. Yes. Their intention towards our daughter is a nice one. Oh, yeah. However, we need to discuss with Adure first before oh. we consent to their request. I agree with you. Um, it's your Jafar. Your Majesty. As in the you come on. Um, you will go. When we finish discussing with our daughter, then we will send for you. But be positive. <laughs> your Majesty. Be positive. It's all right, Your Majesty. <laughs> we will your wait. Majesty, it's okay, Your Majesty. Yeah. We, will, we will await your invitation. Eh? Uh, whenever you think it uh, time enough to uh, we'll come. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, you people just have to relax. You know, I send the guy to oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> All right, thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared, the king. Shut your mouth. I ask you to dance, you don't say no. Will you just come here and rock with me?
going on here? Why did you turn my palace into? Can you stop? Stop that music. What have you turned my palace into? I'm only having fun. What do you expect? I mean, what is all this nonsense? You are practically desecrating my palace and you have the guts, the infantry to ask me questions. Are you out of your senses? Why won't I talk back at you? While all you do is to break my happiness. It irritates you so high whenever you see me happy like this. I am only trying to make myself happy in this primitive area of yours. What is your problem? Happy, give me my phone. Give me my phone! Excuse me! Hey, and what are you doing here? According to the custom and tradition of our land, we ought to seek your permission before we accept anything from them. Mother. Are you the one seeing this? Why are we wasting time? Mother, I love Ekene so much. And I can't wait to live with him. I can't. Sis, I think you, you should slow down with this whole thing. I don't like the manner with which you're going about this whole marriage thing. And it's not seem there's something special about that Ekene of a guy. I don't understand. I beg your pardon. Excuse me. No, I, I don't get it. Why do I feel this sense of jealousy? Jealousy? How can I jealous you when my money is in all ramifications better than yours? Oh my goodness God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That half walking dead, retarded, homosexualized boozaga? That imp? I would not have you insult my man in that manner. Excuse you! Mom, please, warn her because I won't take it. Warn me? What has come over you too? You are same blood, same sisters, from same womb. You ought to live in peace, not this banter. I don't like it. Adore, you should go and inform your father that you have accepted so that the marriage can commence. Mother, please. Let us go at once. And as for you, kid says, I'm not dragging anything with you. Not at all. All I am just trying to do is take over from where mother stopped. She has gone through a lot to build this empire. And I can't just let this slide away just like that. May we please? I'm sorry for raising my voice with you. It's okay. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you finding it difficult to understand simple things? Huh? Seriously? Are you asking me that question? You want to insult me in presence of subjects? Huh? Dude, come on now. No! Leave us. Okay, my king. Better. I am sick and tired of all this entire drama. You are getting on my nerves, Jordan. And I have told you countless times to cut off the people of Obudu Kingdom. Stop making yourself a commoner. Stop! Making myself a commoner, you said? How am I making myself a commoner? Have you forgotten who I am? The daughter of the senator. You, I am not a commoner. You debase your royalty by mingling with those commoners. Oh, there he goes again. Why are you behaving irrationally? Are you serious? I am behaving irrationally just because I am socializing and mingling with people. I don't blame you because you will not understand. In politics, it is called grassroots politicking. How will you even understand? You don't know anything. Let me tell you. He don't segregate any human being on earth because before God, we are all equals. For your information, 
my parents were not able to stop me from catching my phone. And you will not dare try it. Is it true that Aduro is pregnant? What has gone wrong with her? <laughs> Ooh, my father came. I'm fine, Daddy. <laughs> um, Daddy, are you sure you're okay? You look a bit moody. Oh, it's not matter of that. I was just reminiscing. It's normal with me. Mm. Yes. Let's stop. Tell me, how was work today in the office? Well, work was fine. Stressful oh. as usual, but <laughs> Daddy, mm. <laughs> I had an amazing day at work. I see. In fact, I come bearing news. Good news. Really? Mm hmm I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so how would you feel if I tell you that the Ministry of Health contracts yes. pulled through? Hey! <laughs> come, come to my arms. Ah, I know. It did. I know that you <laughs> made this happen. Mm, you knew it. Yes. Mm, I knew you were going to say I knew it. <laughs> you see, indeed, you are a gift sent by the gods to help this family. I know that. Mm. I always know it. Really? No, tell me. Tell me about it. You see, I, I, I knew it right from when you were just a little child. Mm. I'll tell you something. Mm. A child that will become a star starts from a scratch. Tell me about it. <laughs> I will not tell you that. Daddy, you have so much confidence in me. Like Sometimes it's really scary because I don't know. I don't ever want to disappoint you in life. Do you understand? But, I mean, how can you have so much confidence in a human being? I, I'm not a magician. Seriously. Tell me, how did the magic happen? Daddy, don't worry. I'm going to go upstairs now, freshen up. Okay. You know what? Mm. Kambili is hungry. Daddy, I'm so hungry. I need to eat. So when I come back, mm -hmm. I'll eat. And Good. then I'll tell you all about it. All. You have to take all the rest because I know what you do. <laughs> Alright, Daddy, see you soon. <laughs> and then you have to tell me why you're holding. Uh, I know there's something uh, behind that. I'm just communicating with the gods. I do it also. Hmm. Well, let me guess. You are communing with the gods? Well, I, I'll resume my reminiscence. It's a normal thing. So, what did the gods say this time? Uh, I wouldn't tell him just being a king is not <laughs> everything. <laughs> my father is the best king. The world. I appreciate it. Love you, Daddy. Ah, uh, where is my phone? Uh, God! Ah, yes, uh -huh. Come, quickly move to each edge of first house. Tell them to get prepared. That I said they should get prepared for Adure's uh, marriage right. Yes, uh, I am happy. <laughs> You know you never cease to amaze me, Dad. You really never do. I was there and I heard it all. I heard you singing Kambili's praises. You sing her praises all day, all night. You rub it to her face that you prefer her to my sister and I. You do everything to prove to us that you don't even care about us. You made it clear to us that Kambili is better than us. But let me tell you something, Dad. Kambili is never and will never be better than my sister and I. Let that sink, His Royal Majesty. Everything in this palace is all about Kambili. Kambili in, Kambili out. In the morning and afternoon, Kambili. God will have a single piece yet because of Kambili. Guys, the king is mad with the queen for dancing with us. 
I'm on Yusef, you used to be this big, 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 big grandma. As for me, I like Queen Annie. She's, she has vibes and she keeps the palace lively. And I'm happy with that. If she continues like this, she might lose her respect. And she's crossing her limit. I might be less not looking like a German for this palace. Too. Eh? Um, she keeps this palace. She makes the palace lively. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? That is none of your business. I've not forgotten that a young man also likes to gossip. But uh, that's none of my business. Came to inform you that the princess is in need of you people. Gossipers. Nah, what is this princess? What does she want from us again? I don't know. Let's go. So Canberra now has a new car. I am sure it was father that bought it for her. Canberra. I am also sure that she has her eyes on the throne. Ah, but I will shock her. I am the only tigress in Urumba Kingdom. Nobody will drag that throne with me. Canberra. Canberra. Wait for me. Mm. Oh. It was a very successful meeting today. <laughs> At the palace. Oh, oh wow. Papa, do you think so? <laughs> Listen. The ball is not in their courts. Unless you did not do your homework well. Because if you did your homework well, Princess will accept your proposal, and then uh, the king will invite us for uh, who's the, the needful, and then hmm, the process will begin. That is it. It's so, alright, Papa. It's alright. It's okay. Mm. That is mm. the way it is. Uh, so, uh, how are you going to do about the um, that business you told me about last time? You said you wanted to venture into it. You are coming. Greetings, Iche. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Yes. Uh, Iche, His uh, Royal Majesty asked me to go, come and inform you to get prepared and, and come. Ah, okay. My regards to him, eh? Yeah, I'll be there. Thank you, sir. Papa, as you can see, I did my homework well. Papa, the princess cannot reject me. I love her very much and she also loves me too. We have to start making preparations to go and see the king immediately. Okay. In that case, tomorrow, huh? Yeah? Prepare. Tomorrow we'll go back there and see the king and then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, so about that business, I'm interested in that business. I called all of you here to reaffirm my love for all of you. A wonderful family. I am happy to have you as family, Queen um, Agatha, Queen Olama. I am happy to have you as my beautiful wives. I must tell you, most sincere, that both of you are the most beautiful women in this kingdom. And I want to thank the gods of this land for giving me elegant and vibrant girls as children. Having said this, I want us to also remember that very soon Princess Aduro here will get married and I want all hands to be on deck. We must host our visitors very well in a way and manner that they will know that we are one united family. I want to borrow really from our ancestors. They said that when urines are passed together, it forms. I hope this is clear. Yes, my king. Yes. Good. I want to use this little opportunity to commend uh, Kamli here. She has been doing a whole lot to give our family business a facelift. All that she has been putting in are enough to commend her for. 
Uh, Princess, I want to say thank you. The gods of this land will continue to bless you beyond measures. I am so proud of you, my daughter Kambile. That's good. So, so proud of you. And um, you, Somachi, I want you to work harder. The problem you have is that you give up on things. Is That has been your problem right from birth. And I want you to improve on that. I want the best from all of you. Since my speech here is not to reprimand any one of you, but to elogize all of you, I still stand on the ground that I want the best from every one of you. I hope this is clear. Absolutely not that. I find it difficult to understand the reason I can never do anything right before my father. There is nothing I've ever done that you're okay with. And it's even more embarrassing that you continuously present me as the black sheep of this family. I am not okay with that. And that will never sit well with me. Just so you know, I do not feel happy about it. My king, this is not fair. You've just ended up getting my daughter angry. How? How did I get her angry? Have I done anything wrongly? My king, you've said nothing wrong. Nothing. You've not said anything wrong yet. Really? I know you're going to support him. I know you'll definitely support him. I don't blame you. Adure, let us go. Father. Father. No days and no peace. You are sowing the seed of this God. I... Have you seen what I just finished talking about? Just when I thought I have a meeting with the family, and the meeting ended in fiasco. My king, like I said, you have said nothing wrong. Nothing. What? I'm not happy, Mom. I don't like the fact that you sat there and watched that ridicule me. You couldn't even do anything to defend me. And what were you expecting Mother to say? Defend or me, sis! Oh, please, no matter what, you have no right, no panache to talk to Mother in that tone and that manner. I know you are angry, but you shouldn't talk to her that way. Samachi, what is it? You're acting as if you don't know your father, the king. His word is authority. He likes to say things the way they are. Have you for once thought about the things you do that he doesn't like? Mom? Have you? You should try to be the best. And you are Dure. Strive to be the best. You don't allow anyone to smart you in this game. Mother, please, can we not start? My wedding is coming up and I need every support that I can get to have a fun, fair, traditional marriage. So can I get the support? Come on, please. It's my marriage we're talking about here. Sis, of course you know I will support you. But please talk to mom. Can you stop? No, I will not. Stop it, Soma. St stop it! I think it's high time we started thinking about what will chill our spirits? Let's go and have something chilly. Follow me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what a touch. You say something? Mother, you know, I do not understand so much his attitude towards that. I mean, why the rudeness? My daughter. Yes, mother. Forget this uh, so much and her trouble. It is in their DNA for, to be aggressive. You should know them by now. You know, 
dad was only trying to encourage her to do better. Mm -hmm. But then, I don't know. My daughter. Yes, mother. I am so happy that you are always making this royal family proud. Mm. And I'm also happy that your dad, the king, appreciates you. I want you to keep it up. Thank you, mother. Pay less attention <laughs> to so much. Pay less sure. attention to their trouble. Forget them. Keep up the good work that you are doing in this royal family. Okay? Keep Thank up you, the mother. good work. You're welcome. Let's go in. I'm happy you're proud of me. Ah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong in smoking weed in the, in the palace and catching my cruise? Catching your cruise? Of course. You call smoking of weed catching your cruise? This is palace for God's sake. You have been warned and you promised never to do this. So why are you doing it? I don't quit weed and weed don't quit me. It's a Rasta kingdom. We align together. Don't you understand it? What? Yes. But you're a queen. You are a queen for God's sake. Stop smoking weed. You have many other important things to do than smoking weed and destroying the palace. Do you think queens cannot take weed? It is not allowed in this palace. You need to stop it. You really need to stop it. Princess, just leave. Just leave my presence. Let me enjoy myself. I am going nowhere. I am going nowhere. You should be the one to leave. What's the meaning of this? What's going on here? This is so sickening, brother. It's so sickening. Honey. You told me you've stopped smoking. You started smoking again? I made you that promise because I thought it would work. But it's not possible that I quit weed. And you said you will keep working on yourself. What has come over you? Weed is part of my life, baby. It's a therapy. I can't quit weed. Sorry. Honey, you are a queen. We are royals. We need to live exemplary life, both in this palace and beyond. Listen, I beg you in the name of anything you serve, don't you ever smoke marijuana in my palace again. Else, I will make this palace too hot for you. Really? I'll be waiting for you, King Jordan. When you saw me in the club, I was smoking weed and you liked me. You said you would die if I refused you. And now you want me to, 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 to go by your dictates. It's not working. I'm not leaving weed. <laughs> 